everyone, good morning. This is Dr. Nicola Ducharme here, the naturopathic mama. And I wanted to just give you a, a little piece of news today um, in honor of Lyme Awareness Month. So May is Lyme Awareness Month. And many of you know that Lyme disease is very sort of close to my heart. I've been working with chronic Lyme for about 15 years now. And the majority of my practice is Lyme disease patients. So it's something that, you know, I'm in the trenches with every day and I see the devastating impact it's having on many, many people's lives. And so as part of my work, I created an online training program or an online education tool called Lyme Ed. And I'll make sure the URL link uh, is in the comments below so that you can click the link. But I wanted to just share a little bit about that course this morning and also give you a special offer. For the month of May, for Lyme Awareness Month, I am discounting my Lyme Ed program by 50%. Okay, so for the rest of the month, the entire program is gonna be 50% off. Um, so that's really exciting because it means um, that for you as a Lyme patient, you can get the Lyme Ed program for less than $100. So let me tell you a little bit more about what's in it. I've often been asked, well, I'm just new to Lyme. Would that be overwhelming for me? What, would that be appropriate for me? And then on the flip side, I've been told, you know, I've been dealing with Lyme for years. I pretty much know everything there is to know out there. Is there anything else in there that would help me? And I believe the answer is yes to both. So the course has 10 modules. It's a total of 20 hours of information. And I can honestly say, folks, everything I know about Lyme disease is in that course, okay? I really just, I broke it down and I spilled out everything I knew from my knowledge and experience of over 15 years working with Lyme. So yes, I do go through the basics of what is Lyme? What are the co-infections? What are the complicating factors of the infection? Things like biofilm and the, the morphing into different forms of the bacteria. What are the symptoms? What could it be confused with? So many people with Lyme have been diagnosed with everything from fibromyalgia to MS or autism and ADHD in our kiddos. There's a whole list of things that Lyme mimics. So we talk about all of that. Um, and then I go in and talk about the lab testing. Which labs really make sense to run? Because that's a huge point of confusion. I talk about how to optimize the results of the lab testing, how to optimize testing to get the most accurate information. And then I also talk about a bunch of other tests, not necessarily Lyme tests, but what other labs are useful to have in conjunction with that. So then I go into several modules around treatment. There is an entire module on antibiotic therapy, including things like what to do when antibiotics stop working, um, how to manage antibiotics in pregnancy, um, what, do we, what antibiotics can we give children, when would you want to do antibiotics and when might you not want to do antibiotics. So it's much more than just the basic protocols, although they are in there too. Um, it's also a discussion of how can we get the most out of antibiotics um, without you know, any collateral damage on the system, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot in there about the medications. So then there's a huge module on naturopathic treatments, all the herbal medicines and all the natural agents that we can use um, to not only address the infection piece, but to manage inflammation, to boost the immune system, um, to help with detoxification. It's very thorough. It's much... Treating Lyme is much more complex than just doing antimicrobial therapy, whether that be antibiotics or herbs. So we go into all of that. There is an entire module on detoxification, why it's so important, how to do it. There's, um, there's how-to guides on detox modalities, things that you can do at home inexpensively and easily and just build into your daily routine to boost detoxification. There's also an entire module on hormone regulation in Lyme. We know that Lyme messes with the hormones, so we want to unpack that. How does that look for the thyroid? How does it look for the adrenals? What's the impact on reproductive hormones? And how can we work on correcting those imbalances along the way as we're treating the chronic infection? So there's an entire module on digestion, um, SIBO, candida, leaky gut. I dig right into that stuff. 
All of these issues may not be Lyme, but they crop up so often in our Lyme journey. So I really wanted to make it thorough. Then I talk about 10 things that can ha hamper recovery from Lyme. If you're treating Lyme and getting better, but not all the way better, what could be getting in the way? So I outline the 10 most significant things that you need to look out for to make sure you can get the best recovery for you. And then finally, I talk about the emotional, the psycho-emotional aspects of Lyme and how to work with them. And I give you a couple of tools that you can utilize right away to help with anxiety, to help with depression, um, to help with irritability, to help with all the fears around Lyme and the PTSD that comes with a lot of people's Lyme journey. And I do believe that's a very real thing. So there is tons of value in there. Like I said, over 20 hours, there's bonus lectures on CBD, there's bonus lectures on essential oils, um, there's tons of content in there um, and action plans. In the nutrition module, we have, oh, Michael, thank you, you're so sweet. Um, in the nutrition module, um, there is a Lyme diet action plan with meal plans, shopping lists, um, how to make kombucha, how to make um, kefir, really, really practical information. Okay, so it's really exciting to me. I'm very, very, um, I'm proud of it, to be very honest with you. I, it took me two years to, to put that course together between kids and busy practice and all of that. I really put my heart and soul in it because I want it to make a difference for you. Okay, so if you are struggling with Lyme, if you're overwhelmed, if you're frantically researching on the internet every night and just don't know what to believe or what's you know a credible source, I would urge you to look at this. And I would ask you, uh, if you know other people who are suffering with chronic Lyme, please share this video with them. Um, there is so much information that I feel could help many, many people with this illness. So that's really exciting. I would like to invite you to view a free webinar that I did, um, and it's the five keys to an integrative approach to Lyme. So what does it really mean to be truly integrative? What does that look like? Is that a philosophy? Is it about modalities? Can you be integrative if you're um, doing antibiotics or not doing antibiotics? That webinar will really help give you that foundation. So if you jump over to www lime-ed.com -ed and you'll find that webinar there. And I, I would urge you, please go over there and watch that. Um, the code for the 50% off is awareness. The word awareness, because it's for Lime Awareness Month. And then the final thing I would like to say is I have also created a practitioner version because what do we know, right? There's not enough doctors um, nutritionists, chiropractors, nurses, healthcare practitioners of so many different types who don't know enough about Lyme. We need to have more educated practitioners. And so I created Lyme Ed for practitioners, and we have the link for that in the comments. I know lots of good, good hearted practitioners who are saying, you know, I want to help you. I just don't know how. They say that to some of my patients if we're asking them to prescribe medications or they just, they want to help, but they don't have all the information. So this is my offer. The practitioner course is also 50% off um, and that is open to uh, doctors, functional medicine doctors, naturopathic doctors, chiropractors, nurses, um, massage therapists, dietitians, nutritionists, anyone in the health field that wants to be able to help other people with Lyme. And that is crucial. We have to get more practitioners educated so that we have more help for all of you. So the practitioner one is available too. We've got, a, um, we've got the URL for that in the comments, or if you just go to lyme.com, there's a little tab there that says, if you're a practitioner, click here. If one of your team, if one of your healthcare providers is in that camp of, open to Lyme, open to learning, doesn't really know where to start, unlikely to fly off to a three-day ILADS convention, please share this information with them um, and let them know they can get 50% off this month. And you can let them know that it would really help you on your journey for them to be educated and for them to have a bigger context. And even if they just listen to the 
antibiotic module, if they're more allopathically oriented, they'd still get a ton of value and a ton of information just to understand what Lyme disease is and, and what it can do. So that's my news for today, everybody. Like I said, if, um, if you know of people, if you have people in your life that are struggling, um, whether it's adults, children, um, acute Lyme, chronic Lyme, please share this information with them, share this video with them. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get word out. So anything you can do to help me, I know that this is gonna help people. Um, and I'm really, really proud and honored to be able to offer it to the Lyme community. So have a wonderful day, folks, and I will see you again next week.